Well, good morning. So how many of you did not want to leave class to walk over here today? Wow. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Well, it's great to have everyone here with us today as we celebrate uh, Flag Day out here on City Hall Plaza. We've got uh, several uh, speakers and acknowledgments uh, lined up for you this morning. And we would like to open this morning's uh, ceremonies by inviting up uh, World War II veteran, former national president of the Italian American uh, Veterans Association, war veterans, Mr. George Cataldo. Good morning. We're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance, but I want you to understand this right now. I'm going to read something that I think you should know. It's the Pledge of Allegiance, but don't you say it until the end of this little speech. But remember everything that I say about the speech. And it's, it is the whoops, Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance, and what does that mean? I promise to be true to the, to the flag and to our country of the United States of America. And that means each state that has joined to make our country and to the republic. A republic is a country where the people choose others to make laws for them. Their government is for the people for which it stands, the flag means a country, one nation, a single country, under God, the people believe in a supreme being, invisible, the country cannot be split into parts, for all, for each person in a country, you and me. Now let's rise, hand over the heart, and say it slow, we'll do it together, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Great job, George. Thank you. Thank you, George. Outstanding. We would at this time uh, like to invite up uh, Bishop Tony Branch uh, for an invocation. Well, good morning, everyone. If you believe in justice, say, I believe in justice. If you believe in equality, say, I believe in equality. If you believe in love, say, I believe in love. If you believe that America is the greatest nation on this earth, say, America is great. Did y'all know that it was a teacher that started the celebration of Flag Day? Did y'all know that? Raise, raise your hand if you know that. <laughs> Uh, did y'all, who knew that? Oh, okay, all right. So you know that uh, some of you guys know me. I'm a holiness preacher. I'm not going to go long, but I am proud to be an American. Now, I'm going to say this to you. If you believe in Brockton, say, I believe in Brockton. I believe in Brockton. If you believe in your teachers, say, I believe in my teachers. I believe in my teachers. If you believe in yourself, say, I'm the future. I'm the future. Stand up, let's have a prayer. Y'all ready? Let us close our eyes. Precious God, we, your sons and daughters of Abraham, come before you, Lord. We are solemn and we are proud to be an Americans. God, we come because we are the benefactors of your grace and of your love. Lord, we are proud to be Americans on this flag day that signifies not only our love for this nation, but our commitment for its growth. In the name of the Jesus that I serve, let us say amen. amen. Be blessed. He's a tough act to follow. Yeah. At this time, uh, we have uh, some students uh, from Pliff Academy, seventh grader Brooke Moore and eighth graders Leah Parrott and Anna Anise to perform our country's national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the 
dawn's early light. What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet waved o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Cunningham, I hope you are paying attention to where those young ladies are eighth graders. You might want to get a couple names before you leave. Yeah. <laughs> outstanding, girls. Outstanding. That was great. We have a number of uh, elected officials joining us here today, and I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge them. Uh, first, uh, right next to me here, Plymouth County District Attorney Tim Cruz is here today. From our state legislative delegation, uh, Representative Jerry Cassidy is here. From the Southeastern Regional School District, Mark Lindy is with us. From the Brockton City Council, Ward 7 Councilor Shirley Asak is here. Immediately to my right, your left, the Dean of the Legislative Delegation, State Senator Mike Brady. And also rounding out our state legislative delegation, State Representative Michelle Dubois. And our special uh, guest speaker you'll meet in just a moment. It's a pleasure to have all of you here with us today as we celebrate Flag Day. We have a very special speaker for you to speak to you today. Throughout the years, the sons and daughters of Brockton have been called upon to defend not just our country, but that flag all over the world. And uh, one of those sons of Brockton who's done that is our keynote speaker today, retired Navy SEAL Tony O'Brien. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Appreciate it. Come on. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. City officials, state officials, students, and fellow parents, and especially our teachers. Uh, as, as a new dad of a kindergartner, um, I, I reap the rewards and I receive the rewards of the, the service uh, of you teachers. And I must tell you that, in my opinion, your service is no less important than what our military does and what our beloved police and fire do. And thank you so much for our our brothers and sisters in the police and fire service who are here today as well. And I want, I want, I ask you to pass that on to your fellow teachers as well from the military guy. Thank you for your service. Go ahead. Say it. Say thank you for your service. Thank you for your service. All right. Yeah. You got a, you're getting a double dose of uh, Anthony O'Brien with junior and senior here today. I half apologize for that. If, uh, if anybody uh, needs a babysitting gig, I'll, gi I'll give you my number after. Um, we don't mind that he brought you with him today. Thank you, sir. All right, stand up, stand up. All right, tell everybody your name in the microphone. My name's Anthony. Right. Uh, hold on, get up there. How old, how old are you? Five. What grade are you in? Kindergarten. And how many days of school you got left? Um, five. And who's counting? My teacher, Mrs. Riley. Yes, she is. All right, Anthony's, Anthony's going to be back in a second. I just want to make a couple brief remarks. Um, I know that uh, young people don't want to hear an old guy talk on for too long. 
And I can tell you, as, a, as an old guy, um, and there's a couple else here that are, that are here today, uh, we don't like listening to old guys speak too long either. Um, it's an honor to, to be from Brockton. Um, I entered the military and came back from the military after 21 years uh, to and from Brockton. And it's, it's a great part of my family legacy, and, uh, it, and it's always in my heart. Um, I belong to several groups here in the city. I work here in the city, and I can't thank you all uh, for all you do to make this city as great as it is. Is there anybody here that has family from another country? Everybody does. So do I. Okay, thank you. So do I. Um, I'm, I'm Italian. I'm half Italian and half Irish. But I'm all American. And I'm most proud of that. And I'm most proud of my family. But I, I ask you to remember that we are Americans and Americans first. Don't forget your family history, but we are America. And that's what Flag Day is. Flag Day is America. Flag Day is you and me. And that's freedom and that's patriotism. In my 21 years in the military, I had the privilege to represent this country, in, I'm sorry, this country, in 35 countries. And trust me, we can't celebrate our freedoms too often. Somebody tell me, how many countries are there in the world? Anybody? Yell it out. Yeah, that's the states. Good boy. <laughs> Whoa, 50. Okay, I'll help, I'll help you out. Believe it or not, there's a lot of people that don't know how many countries. There are a few people that don't know how many states, but we'll save that one. There's, a, there's 192 countries. And as they say, you can, you can Google that. Um, I've been, I've been uh, proud to have served in 35 of them. Most of them are very poor. Most of them are surrounded by war. Most of them have violations of human rights and civil rights, and unfortunately that's their norm. And I can't thank the bishop enough for not only his motivation this morning, but for his great remarks. Uh, spot on, sir, and well done. We help those countries. America helps those countries, and you help those countries. And I thank you for that. Please keep them in your prayers. And please thank God that you live in America truly the land of the free and the home of the brave. But also Flag Day represents patriotism and the love of our great America. And the love of not only our freedoms and our democracy and our rights, but also opportunity. We sometimes forget that. Please take advantage of every opportunity this great country gives you. Many have died so that you can do so. So for them, for yourselves, for your families, for our communities and country, please do that. And finally, patriotism is not just our military. Patriots also include our police officers, our firefighters, and our teachers. And we thank you for your service. And for everyone else who supports us in that service, you are patriots too, because we are a team. And we can't do it unless we do it together. So again, thank you for your support. Thank you for your service. Happy Flag Day, and I also want to add one thing. Today, interestingly, is also the birthday of the US Army, um, our beloved brothers and sisters in the US Army. Um, I know there's a lot of folks here that have family that have served or are serving in our beloved Army, so we also wish uh, our Army uh, happy birthday as well. I'm going to wrap up with uh, little Anthony here is going to give you a, a, quick, a quick version of a quick song that, uh, where'd you learn it, in school? Yeah. That he learned in school. He's, lear he's learning more in school, teachers, than he's learning from me. And uh, I'm no, I, I used to be embarrassed about that, but no more, because uh, you guys are so awesome. Again, thank you and happy Flag Day. Go ahead. Flag of America, red, white, and blue. Flag of America, a salute we give to you. Salute. Yay. Nice. Thank you very much, folks. Okay, go. Thank you. Roger. Oh, next year we might just invite Junior. <laughs> 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 
Tony, thank you so much for your service and your remarks this morning. And uh, just a, a quick couple of quick thoughts to follow up on, on what Mr. O'Brien had to say, particularly for all our students here today. For you students, as you, as you look at that American flag, and most of you are holding one here today, it's not just a piece of material. You need to think about what that flag stands for, the values that that flag stands for. That flag stands for liberty, and it stands for justice, and it stands for freedom. And over the generations, a huge price has been paid so that we can enjoy those values here in America. And so when we defend the flag, we're really defending the values that that flag represents. And that's why it's so important to us, and that's why it's so important that we celebrate the American flag today. And I really enjoyed Tony's quick poll of people who have family from other countries because really the flag also stands for that and that's what Brockton stands for. So when you think about Brockton, you think about the American melting pot. Everyone here is from somewhere else if you go back enough generations and most of us, you don't have to go back very far. I have grandparents that were not born in this country. So the American dream is also the Brockton dream and Brockton really is the melting pot and we really are a city of opportunity for all of you young people that are out here uh, today. So I hope you'll also remember that word that Mr. O'Brien used, opportunity, because you've got great opportunities in this country, in this city, in our school system, and we're gonna do everything we can to help you take advantage of those opportunities. We have a very uh, special presentation for you. We have the Brockton High School Chorus here with us today under the direction of Mr. Cunningham. Mr. Cunningham, thank you so much for, for bringing out the chorus. So as they get ready to perform, we'll ask everyone to please rise for God Bless America, and then we'll raise the American flag to, to the grand old flag. Now before we actually raise the flag here today in our flag raising ceremony, on behalf of the city of Brockton, we do also want to issue a proclamation recognizing Flag Day today. And I'm going to present this proclamation to Mr. George Cataldo if he would come up here and join us. George is a World War II veteran and I can't think of a better person to give this proclamation to. So let me read this uh, for you first. Whereas 241 years ago, a small band of patriots declared independence, proclaiming in one voice that we are free to determine our own destiny and carry out the work of self-governance. Driven by their unyielding spirit and drawing inspiration from the stars and stripes, a string of 13 colonies later expanded to become a united 50 states. Throughout our history, the American flag has steadfastly served as an emblem of this greater experiment in democracy. On Flag Day and during National Flag Week, we pledge our allegiance to the banner that has served 
as a guiding symbol on our nation's journey, and we celebrate the hope it inspires in the American people. Whereas with hands over hearts, Americans of all backgrounds and beliefs have long saluted old glory and honored its legacy, our flag persists as a powerful representation of freedom and opportunity. And whereas the American flag invokes pride in our citizens and hope in those who come to our shores in search of a brighter tomorrow, in recognition of the ways it has embodied our ideals and sustained our nation, let us pay tribute to the Star Spangled Banner and continue striving to create a more perfect and indivisible union with liberty and justice for all. So whereas to commemorate the adoption of our flag, Congress designated June 14th of each year as Flag Day. So now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Bill Carpenter, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim June 14th, 2017, as United States Flag Day. And I urge all residents of the city of Brockton to celebrate this day. And this is signed, sealed, and delivered today, June 14th, and presented to Mr. George Cataldo, U.S. World War II veteran. I didn't expect this today, not the way I'm dressed. <laughs> golf but, was canceled, George? <laughs> golf, golf no. But I want to say to the young people, I'm a commercial artist by trade, and you can't paint a good picture with all white, or with all black, or with any color once. You need colors like people, to make a great country, to make a great painting. All of you are part of that painting. And that picture will go on forever and ever. God bless all of you. So at this time, we'll invite all of uh, our special guests, elected officials, Mr. Cataldo, uh, Commander O'Brien, uh, to join us over at the flagpole and uh, the Brockton High School Chorus will perform Grand Old Flag as we raise the American flag above City Hall. Come on, Oliver. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, We'll do it twice through, and if you know the words, join us on the second time through. You're a grand old flag, you're a high-flying flag, and forever in peace may you wave. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true neat the red, white, and blue, where there's never a boast or brag. But should old acquaintance be forgot, keep your eye on the grand old flag. You're a grand old flag, you're a high-flying flag, and forever in peace may you wave. You're the emblem of the land I love, the home of the free and the brave. Every heart beats true neat the red, white, and blue, where there's never a boast or brag. But should old acquaintance be forgot, keep your eye on the grand old flag. Keep your eye on the grand old flag. Keep your eye on the grand old flag.
So folks, that will conclude our Flag Day ceremonies. Thank you to everyone who attended. Thank you to everyone that participated, made the program special. And enjoy the rest of your day. But thank you so much for being here with us.